source code to one of the games that I'm working on. You can copy it and see what you think about it. If you have a Casio calculator, this won't work on a Texas instrument calculator, obviously because the language is totally different. Notice I have a lot of locates, a lot of logical commands, like if E equals zero, then 21 to E. Uh, that means that uh, when E, which is a variable, which is an object on the screen, goes to the zero or the left side of the screen, then 21 to E means that to go on the right, 21 is the right side of the screen, and zero is 1 to 21, and then random intel 4 to 6 to F, that means see yeah, I assign E and F to uh, an object on the screen, moving object, so basically it's going to be on the right side, when it goes all the way to the left, eventually it'll pop up again on the right, and but it'll be a random row, see random intel 4 6, F. F is the row, and the rows are 1 to 7. So it's going to be random into 4 or 6. That means it'll be either 4, 5, or 6 Put it in a random order. The random function is very important. Random. Because otherwise the game, the game is boring. It's predictable. You want your game to be simple, fast, and unpredictable, maybe. So that to be exciting. You know, that's what the random feature is really cool. And logic. Clear text is also pretty important. The random feature is good because, um, well, few, a bunch of reasons, but also whenever you start the game, it automatically goes to a new look like a, a random uh, function. It's pretty long code. This is only the beginning. Three different, two, four different labels actually. Whenever you label, you should always use letters because the al you have the whole alphabet to choose from. So you got label you, you know, label A to Z. Whereas the numbers, you only could do label one to ten. You try label eleven, I don't think it'll work on Casio. Or whatever. Like two or three pages, but it's really not that much. You really think about it. You're constantly creating. You're only limited by your own imagination. Whenever you program Casio Calculator, remember that every just visual, very visual, and you choose what go, what happens on the screen. So you're using a locate. But I get keys. Get key equals 47 and stop. That means, in other words, well, on the Casio calculator, get key 47 is the exit key. So, in other words, basically, I set it up so that whenever you press exit, it'll stop. You want to always have this uh, pro this code because whenever you're working on a game, you're gonna uh, always gonna want to go back to the menu and then to edit. You don't put the uh, get key equals 47 and stop, then it'll, you always have to uh, go to the error. You have to press AC, all clear, in order to exit, then it will the error, which is annoying, it takes, up, takes time. And when it comes to the programming, you, you gotta be quick. Just go with it, go with the flow and 
don't take don't think about things too much. You see something. Go back up for a second. If y equals seven and x is equal or less than eight, then locate you died. Oh I see. Stop if and whenever you use if and you always gotta use if and see right here. And then right here, if and this is By the way, these gaps are nothing. I'm going to use this return so that it, visually I can see what's um, separation so that I could easier to understand which codes are separate from which ones, from the other ones. See, once again, if, then x a, y to b, x plus 1 to x, x equals 22. Then 1 to x, if end, get key equals 47 and stop. And then go to the, you always have to go on loops, remember, it's always a loop. Go to D, this, this must be labeled D, that means. Go back up. Which is like another wrong label D. Right before the label, you should assign variables. For example, the thoughts were set to x. 1 to y, 3 to a, 4 to b, that's just a space, that means whenever I remove across the screen, it won't leave it um, like a resin, it won't leave a shadow, or, or it'll always keep just going like erasing itself, so then you just see the moving object, and, okay, random intel, 1 to 21, that's the column, E, that's, that must be an object E and F. You always get assigned two variables to one object. So the E would be the column, the F would be the row, you know, column 1 to 21, row 1 to 7. So then you got to label D, that's when it starts. Locate is usually the first thing you should put. A, B is the space so that X, X, whenever X, Y moves across the screen, you won't um, have to uh, see the residue of the shadowing. And EF is like a monster, I guess, I guess, an object. light is getting in the way. This damn lamp. As you can see, this lamp is actually getting in the way. Anyway. Thank you.